Have you ever wondered what it took for life to leave the only world it ever knew? The greatest journey in Earth's history didn't begin with confidence. It began with curiosity. For billions of years, the ocean was everything. A safe cradle. A perfect shield. A complete universe where life evolved, battled, learned, and grew sharper. But eventually, the ocean became too small. Too crowded with possibilities. Too full of competition and danger. And when life is pushed, it looks for escape routes. Even impossible ones. Along the edges of Earth, something quietly remarkable was happening. Not dramatic, not heroic. Just subtle signs of change. Tidal pools where creatures survived a few minutes longer than they should have. Mud flats where bodies learned to support themselves for just a little more time. Moments so small they almost didn't matter. But added together, they were rewriting the planet. Yet the world waiting beyond the waves was nothing like today. Land was raw, brutal, and unfinished. Burning sunlight, violent storms, cracking rock, endless stretches of lifeless dust. No forests, no shade, no comfort. A place built to break anything that dared to cross into it. And still, something kept trying, minute by minute, generation by generation. Life pushed its limits, held moisture longer, endured gravity longer, survived the sun a little longer, until one day, after millions of attempts, a creature didn't crawl back. It stayed, a single step on land, that no one witnessed, but that changed everything. Because once life touched solid ground, Earth's story expanded forever. New worlds, new ecosystems, new futures. And in part eight, we meet the pioneers who started shaping the land into the world we live in. If you're ready for that chapter, join the journey and subscribe to the Seeking Tribe.